Hi, my name is Harpo and do you know what day it is? It's a new plugin day because we have just finished a new completely free plugin for you together with Integer Audio. It's called Gramit and in this video I will show you its features. You can download the plugin from either mine or Integer Audio's website, uh, both linked down in the description. All right, on with the video. Okay, here I have Gramit. I will first quickly go through the interface and then I will go through the individual sliders in more depth uh, and at the same time playing you some of the track uh, behind the plugin so you can hear some, some sound demonstrations as well. So first uh, we have here uh, the OTT section. Oh, if I, <laughs> if I didn't tell you yet, uh, this is a OTT slash distortion plugin. So this plugin integrates the classic OTT uh, sound we are all probably familiar with and adds a distortion section on top of that. So you have two stage distortion, you can choose between uh, pre and post. Uh, this is rel relative to the compression, so before the compression or after the compression you can add distortion or saturation, whatever you want to call it, depending on how, how um, how heavy a uh, distortion you add. Uh, but what makes this unique, you can also do expansion. So right here we have the, the three bands of, of the OTT or the multiband compression. Uh, we have low, mid and high, and then we have the threshold sliders here. So up here, this is a downwards compression. So the, it will uh, compress the sound down when it goes above this threshold. And down here we have uh, upwards compression. So it will boost the sound uh, whenever it's below this threshold here. And here you can switch between uh, compression and expansion. And the arrows uh, here you can uh, toggle kind of uh, display what uh, the band is cur currently doing. So right now we are in the expansion mode. It will push uh, the sound uh, away uh, from these uh, thresholds and here it will uh, squash the sound uh, towards the thresholds. And here we have a solo and bypass as well. So you can, uh, you can listen to individual bands and bypass them. Okay, let's move on to the distortion section here. So as I said, pre and post, uh, they are completely the same. So you will not see any change. Uh, but if you have some uh, settings here, you can see that the post is still the basic linear function. So the dist here is the amount of distortion. So this is just, just the mix for the distortion. Then we have a uh, drive. So you can see here the distortion kind of, um, I don't know, becomes tighter or, or whatever word, word you want to use for it. Then we have type. Uh, this uh, integrates uh, a drop down menu of X amount of uh, distortion. Here we have seven into this one slider, which interpolates between the distortions. Then we have these sliders down here, which I call the master sliders. So speed and depth are only for, for the compression or the OTT section here. Uh, speed is the relative uh, amount of uh, attack and threshold for the compressors. So less speed will uh, result in in more more of the transient in the sounds. And when you turn the speed up, the compressors will be faster to react to the sound and you will lose some of the transient and, and it will be even more more flatter. Then we have depth. Uh, this is uh, also familiar from, from the mainstream OTT plugins. Uh, you know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, this is only the ratio of all of the compressors. So this will kind of sound like a mix, but it is only um, turning, turning down or up uh, the ratios of, of the compressors uh, for all of the bands. Then we have master in master out and the master mix. So this is for, for the whole plugin, these three here. So that's it for the quick overview. Now I will go on to playing some sounds for you. And first I will start by uh, demonstrating the, the compression section or OTT section or whatever you want to call it, multiband section, I don't know. Okay, I have set the plugin in its initial uh, state by choosing the init uh, preset here. Now these thresholds here by default are the 
are the classic classic OTT threshold. So if you want the basic OTT sound we all use in our production probably, you can just open the plugin and it's right there for you so you don't have to uh, mess with, uh, with the thresholds. I will play you the drums from this uh, song I have behind the plugin here and I will mess around with the thresholds and you will, you will hear how, how the plugin sounds like. Uh, this is now with the initial state, so the basic OTT sound with max depth and speed. First I will turn off the plugin. And then I will turn Gramit on. Quickly I will show you the speed and depth slider for, for, the same, for the same drums here. You can hear how they sound. Then as I said, you can also switch the plugin to expansion mode by pressing these uh, arrows here. And I will now uh, play you the drums again and uh, maybe toggle all of these to expansion and you can hear the difference between expansion and compression. Then we will move on to the distortion section. Okay, that's the OTT section. I will now move on to the distortion. Uh, I will just play you the, the types and maybe play around a little with the, with the amount and the drive. So you will hear, hear, hear some of the sounds you can do with it. And I will then enable the OTT again and you will hear uh, what kind of different sounds we can get by combining the OTT and the distortion, which is what this plugin is all about. Okay, then one thing left, I will show you the presets. There are 10 of them and I will go through them uh, quickly by playing whole of the track. Uh, usually you will use this plugin only for, for individual channels uh, as you would use uh, the normal, normal, normal OTT. <laughs> but here you have the benefit of having the distortion. I use the OTT usually in, in a combination of, of, of the plugin, of, of the OTT and then distortion or the other way around. And it's really convenient, at least for me, that I have the distortion right there and I can choose between pre and post. And I will only need one plugin to get that uh, crisp and energetic and, and, and the modern EDM sound we are all after. So this is really quick plugin for that. <laughs>
So that was a quick overview of Gramit. All you have to do is just follow the link in the description and you can also get yours. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.